A new report reveals that one of Rhode Island's public colleges currently has two presidents on its payroll. Our news partner at the Providence Journal was first to break the story last night. An overlap at CCRI costing taxpayers nearly a quarter of a million dollars. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen has the details. Well, Mike, the fact that the former CCRI president Ray DePasquale is still on the payroll is not a surprise. What is a little surprising, though, is that DePasquale continues to receive the same salary and benefits that he did as president, even though he moved to an advisory role when the new CCRI president, Megan Hughes, took over on February 1st. DePasquale's contract expires June 30th, which means he'll stay on the payroll until then, unless he begins employment elsewhere. Our news partner, the Providence Journal, crunched the numbers and found Hughes will make nearly 122,000 as CCRI's president from February through June, while at the same time De Pasquale rakes in nearly 124,000 as an advisor, bringing their total salaries for that five-month span alone to more than $245,000, which is roughly what CCRI's president normally makes for an entire year. We reached out to the Council for Post-Secondary Education. Chairman Chris Folks defended the move, telling us, quote, having Ray as advisor has always been part of the transition plan, and since February, it has been valuable to have the benefit of his input and expertise on a host of system-wide matters. Folks also told the Providence Journal that the five-month overlap was necessary to ensure a smooth transition. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.